Okay, this is tutorial 11. In this tutorial we're going to be setting up for CNC routing using a program called vCarve. You'll see it here on the screen and you'll search for it on your computer to find it. Uh, my version up here says it's 9.015. Yours will be what it is, but it, it might be slightly different, but it'll be close enough for you to be able to follow along. Now, uh, we're hoping to import a PDF file to our vCarve, but before we can do that, we are going to have to do something called job setup. And the way we go about that is you head up here to creating a new file and click on that. And then we immediately enter the job setup here. So the job setup is where we set up the size of the material that we are going to load into the machine. So my piece of material is 14 by 14 by a quarter inch thick. Uh, this isn't the actual size of the object you plan to cut, uh, but it is the size of the material that you're going to put in the machine. So make sure that is that. And now we'll move down here to the next position, Z0 position. And what we are going to do is select machine bed, which means our reference point for cutting, we will tell that tell the router where the machine's bed is. We won't be telling it where the surface of the material is, which would be our other choice. We're going to use machine bed. The next little box here that we're going to enter into is use offset. Yours might be checked off, but make sure it is on and make sure the X is set to whatever the current X offset is. Today, the offset is 1.75, and I'll tell you what that means in a second, and the Y is 2. Once those are entered correctly, you'll see that we have crosshairs on the screen. And by the way, I'm moving around by pressing my scroll wheel on my mouse down and then panning. So these, this crosshair represents the actual 0, 0 home position of the router. And the reason we have an offset is our router has some fences mounted to it so that we have something to press our work up against. And the width of these fences is represented by our offsets. The X offset, which means in this direction it's X, we are moving over 1.75 inches because we have an inch and three quarter inch fence mounted here. And the Y is moving up two inches because we have a two inch fence mounted here. And you can have a look at the machine. It's a good idea to check the machine and make sure that these are the current offsets for our fences because they could change. Uh, once you get that entered, you push OK. Now it's time to actually bring in our object that we'd like to cut. So you made some PDF files earlier that you use for uh, laser cutting. So now we're going to go find those by going File, Import, Import a Vector, and you're going to go find your PDF file. Uh, I'm going to make the 32 tooth gear right here. Click on that PDF, push open. In a second, we'll see a gear on the screen. There it is. And we have now imported our PDF. Now, one thing we're going to do before we go any further is we're going to click on pieces and you'll see it's broken our gear into a whole bunch of little lines. If I zoom in here, scrolling on my mouse, I can see that these are all individual lines. It does that automatically. It's not what we need. So what we need to do is window the entire gear and head up to edit. And what you're going to choose is join vectors right here. Join vectors. And we're going to try, it says there's 162 little lines that are not connected. It's called open. And we're going to try and close them by pushing join. And when you do that, you should see these turn to nothing. And it's one piece now. When I hit close there and I click over here again, now it's, well, it isn't one piece. We have these as separate, and that's okay for us, actually. That'll, be, that'll work out just fine. But the outer, outside is all joined up, and that's all we need, really. Okay, so we are good to proceed, and in the next video, we'll show you how to set up something called tool paths so that this can be cut out properly.